good morning. <laughs> Alright, so today we're off to the spa. Um, I'm gonna grab a coffee real quick, get a cab. I've gotta hike a little ways, it's a little far to walk. Um, probably like a 10 minute drive or. Mm -hmm. Excited? Yeah. We're gonna get Swedish massage for an hour, and then we get to do the spa. We're going to get the Swedish massage, yeah. yeah. So apparently there's like some sort of kitchen shortage or something like that they were telling us last night. So like lots of these restaurants I assume would be open aren't. And um, basically it's like the four places where you can get breakfast or coffee all lined up out at the door. So, I mean, if it's like that in the off season, I want to be here when this place is busy. So, we'll uh, see if we can hunt down a, I don't know, pastry. Get the coffee in me. I need a coffee. I need a coffee really bad. Bad. Whistler isn't a very compact community. It's actually made up of a series of neighborhoods lining a nearly 20 kilometer stretch of Highway 99. Starting with Function Junction and Chica Moose Crossing on the south end, it winds its way north past the Whistler Creekside areas and the three lakes, Alpha, Nita, and Alta, before coming to the village proper. Then, north of the village, it continues through several cottage and residential neighborhoods that wrap around Green Lake. So while getting around isn't as straightforward when you don't have a car, there was a reliable 24-hour taxi service available, as well as transit buses regularly making the rounds. We opted for a taxi and headed to the spa. Massage. That was really good. Um, they're gonna show us around the grounds, go and see the uh, old spa area. So, yeah, let's go check it out. Pretty nice. Uh, had a massage. Spent about three hours here. Uh, get these two hot tubs out on the uh, patio. This beautiful view of the mountains back behind us here. The massages were super relaxing. In the steam room. You go at the steam room. Yeah, and you can't probably can't tell from the videos because it's so steamy in there. But the uh, uh, there's like a cold shower in the middle of the steam room, so you can just get like rinsed with cold water. And then there's a relaxation room with. Uh, Fruit infused water and tea and little lounge chairs everywhere with uh, blankets and pillows and you get to look up at the beautiful mountain and fall asleep. Yeah, yeah fall asleep. <laughs> no, super nice. Um, so that was exciting. We're gonna head to the uh, lake, I think now. Maybe we'll grab a bite to eat somewhere on the way and uh, probably go swimming in the lake. Mm -hmm. so. Thank you for getting in there. 
So we were walking to go get lunch and we found uh, somebody dropped a bank card. We go be good citizens and turn it into the lodge here. Someone's gonna have a bad day, so. Up and across. We're here at Dusty's getting some chicken wings. Um, the spa was good, but uh, we had this cab driver on the way there. He was awful. He was just like some anti-vaxxer guy who was talking about how all the premiers should be shot and Literally. how the world would be better if gentlemen carried swords or something. I don't know. Medieval weaponry. Yeah. It's just not a small talk that you want to hear in the cab. Not really. Flipped off a guy in traffic too. Yeah, so. he like slammed on, well not slammed, but pretty much stomped on the brakes twice because some guy was tailgating him and then he gave him the finger. <laughs> the other cab driver we had was really good. So, you know, you get your hits and your misses. That's how it goes. Hopefully we don't get him again. section at that big of a lake so we're looking at this map here because we're here we're gonna work our way to this lake and then to this great big lake it should be pretty darn cold and it's hot it's really hot right now so it'd be nice to go swimming in a cold lake so let's see what we can see there you go I guess it's only some heartache I laugh when I fall
All right, we're strolling through the village now, looking for a place to eat. Our last supper. So we're gonna go to uh, the other side of the village and just walk around and until someone lights us in. That's about it. That's the plan. Literally, you cannot get into any restaurant without a reservation. There's actually a shortage of staff, so a bunch of the kitchens are closed at a bunch of the restaurants. They don't even serve food. So. They're only serving alcohol at this one restaurant. The kitchen was completely closed. Apparently the pizza place is really popular for that reason. Fat Tony's, which I had last night. So that place, um, we are on the list to get in, so we've got like 45, 50 minutes or whatever to just sort of walk around, and, which isn't bad. I mean, we've got a bunch more exploring to do in this whole area, so let's go check it out. Been there, done that. This is, and they've got nobody sitting at any of these tables, but like the line to get in is like 50 people long. Why is that happening everywhere? Reservations. <laughs> The Olympic ring. Those, eh? It's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. All the Olympic medalists. And here's the Paralympic medalists. And then it keeps going into just all of the medalists from every country in every event. How cool is this? So just a cool thing. Pretty cool. Peterson Park. Out here Spooky Park. <laughs> Spooky Park. Hotels backed on to here. There's people just chilling, eating some food, sitting in the hot tub. Looks like there's just restaurants here. Four Winds Brewing Company. This place is big. There's so much to walk around and explore and places to go and stuff to see. You can see you coming back here like over and over and over again and always eating somewhere different or doing something different because there's just so many. There's so much to see, so many things to do. Yeah. Like similar things, but just a huge variety of them. Yeah. If that makes sense. Uh, 
bar side seating for us again here tonight. Be chronically underprepared, but things just seem to work out. So that's all it is. Um, we're at Alta Bistro. It's a pretty interesting uh, menu. Pretty, pretty good looking drinks. Made by the man behind the bar here. He's killing it. And uh, yeah, so we'll order some food here. See how it works out. I don't know if Deanna's too excited about most of the mains, but she can get a salad. So that's it. Alta Bistro had a unique style. The ingredients in all the dishes were sourced locally, grown and picked in locations in and around Whistler, and then stored on the walls until they were needed. They accept the alcohol, but it was still delicious. There's the pork shoulder. That's my Ohakan mule. And this is Deanna's Caesar salad. Not your typical, how is it? It's good? Not your typical Caesar salad. It's amazing. What did you tip? So that uh, Alta Bistro, that was really good. That was a really good place. Um, definitely not uh, for the, if you're going for the thrifty uh, trip. But <laughs> it was good, you know. But that bartender was fantastic. Uh, cocktails were delicious. Yeah, and he's uh, been here in Whistler for seven years. That yeah, that seems long. like a running theme. People come here to work for, they say it's supposed to be six months or something like that, and they end up just staying here and living or here. Or they so. leave and do something else, and then they come back, and then, like the girl beside us, she did that, and now she's been working here for four years. Yeah. So, Whistler... You come, you stay. Reels them in. As young people looking for cool careers. Dandy dandy key card. Oh, that's a pig sty in here. Uh, we're both pretty darn tired. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll see <laughs> what we do. Day. I don't know if we're going to end up doing anything else tonight, but uh, we got a big day tomorrow exploring around in Squamish. Um, so there'll be a lot of walking, a lot of, you know, hiking and all that kind of stuff. So to go and see waterfalls and mountain and all that. Big day. Might not be the worst thing to just take it easy here. And, uh, mm. yeah, but who knows, you know. Maybe I'll turn this camera on again and we'll be getting hammered drunk somewhere. So. <laughs> Singing karaoke. Who knows? Ice cream line. Unreal. Not even that unreal. So people are waiting in line to get ice cream. It's not that long for like 30 minutes. I might, if Deanna made me do that, I might have to call off our marriage. <laughs> I, it's a snowball's chance at hell I would wait in line to get ice cream. I may have to call off our marriage if he doesn't fucking wait in that line with me for ice cream. <laughs>